Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm gonna show you how to make your voice sound cinematic, to give it a little bit deeper and a little bit more of that nice cinematic echoey sound that you hear in all the movie trailers. Uh, what do we got going on here? Well, let's just take a look here. First off, I mean, this looks like a movie right here. We got a guy vacuuming the forest, as you do, and uh, we gotta give it some nice echo. We gotta give it that nice cinematic sound. So let me just show you here the original audio and then the, the fixed audio, and then we'll go through it step by step. Here's the original audio. Uh, hello everybody, we're gonna make my voice a little bit more cinematic. Watch as I do this. My name is Curtis and I'm gonna show you how to audio grade. All right, that's the crack at it without any effects and now let's apply some effects here and now listen to this. Uh, hello everybody, we're gonna make my voice a little bit more cinematic. Watch as I do this. My name is Curtis and I'm gonna show you how to audio grade. All right, you can hear the differences, and again, it just has a little bit more of that cinematic sound. So let's just go ahead from scratch. I'm going to go back to my source here. I'm going to delete this, and we're going to go from the beginning. All right, first step, drag and drop in some footage. And my footage doesn't have an audio track. It has an independent audio track, so I'm just going to drag and drop the audio underneath it, as you do. Okay, good. Now, the next step is we're going to click on the audio track, and we're going to go to our effects here. When we go to effects, there's a few effects what we want to apply. The first one is a parametric. That's right, parametric. So just type it into your, into your effects right here. If you type in para... You're going to see a whole bunch of things, but you're going to get parametric equalizer is the one we're looking for. Audio effects, filter and EQ, parametric equalizer. That is a mouthful. Okay, drag and drop that onto the audio track. Very important. Okay, now we've clicked on the audio track. We're going to go up here to the top, and we're going to go to our effect controls panel. When you do that, you're going to see parametric equalization, or equalizer, pardon me. And we're going to do some equalization. All right, all right, the equalizer, but without Denzel Washington. Okay, and the next step here is we're going to go ahead and click in and take a look around. So let's go ahead with custom setup, click on edit, and then you're going to see a whole bunch of points and stuff like that. And honestly, not a lot of it's going to make a lot of sense unless you're an audio person. What you want to do, and this will just save you some time, is click on the preset up top here and then go to vocal enhancer. This is the one that I like. Um, but you can, of course, try out all these other ones if you want to get some, you know, some some beefy sounds or whatever the heck you're going for. But Vocal Enhancer is the one I'm looking for. What's happened, it's chopped out some of the lows and it's increased some of the highs. So it's just going to give us a little bit more of that uh, sound. And if I hit and I just close this now, I'm going to close it and you're going to hear some effects already applied. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to make my voice a little bit more cinematic. Watch as I do this. My yes, it sounds a little bit deeper and a little bit closer, in fact. Okay, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so that is the uh, first thing. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, further band passing. So I'm going to just type in, just follow along with me. Type in single, just like I am. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, I've got no game. Uh, but type in single into the effects panel here, and you're going to get single band compressor. Drag and drop that now onto the audio track as well. And we're going to go ahead and edit this as well. So let's go into custom setup like we've done here. Click on edit. And then you're going to get a few other options here. Now, you can go ahead and make some changes. But really, the one that I'm going for is voice thickener. Although I am very much interested in what pancake batter will do. I, I, I You know what? Let's listen to it. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to make my voice up. All right. It doesn't sound like pancake batter, so I'm not impressed. No, the one we want is voice thickener. Click on that one, and then, and let's hit spacebar. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to make my... We're almost there. What we want to do is we also want to output the gain a little bit, just to go ahead and add that little bit of extra sound, a little louder. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to make my voice a little bit more cinematic. Beautiful. We also noticed that as we did this, that we did not clip in here. We did not see any red, so it didn't go too loud. This is all you need to do to make your audio cinematic inside Premiere Pro with no external software. Thanks for watching, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.